If you are using a Mac and you want to make a contact sheet, there are a couple ways to do that. You can do it in Apple Photos. You can also do it in Preview. So I'm going to show you both of those options here. So I have all of my photographs in Photos in a folder, um, either imported or if you shot them on your phone, which I did for these, um, they synced with iCloud and then I put them in one folder. So then I'm going to select all of these and I'm just going to go to print and you can see I've selected 23 photographs and so from the print dialog I'm going to choose contact sheet and I can choose my columns and rows and I'm, I'm just going to make them all fit to one page sometimes it gets a little funky where you can't choose the rows you can only choose the columns um, so if they're too small you might decide to have fewer columns and have them fit across two pages. So I'm just going to have them all fit to one page like that. And then for captions, I can choose a range of things. Um, I want to at least have the file name underneath. That way I can easily find that photograph if I'm going to edit it or post process it. Um, but you have a range of other things that you can have added um, you know, to the bottom if you would like. I'm going to click OK. Now, the one thing that you do have to have is um, in order for it to generate a color output, in this case, we're just going to make a PDF of it. We're not actually physically printing. I'm going to go to print. I have to have had a color printer at some point connected to my computer. So this printer is a color printer. So it generates a color image that I'm then going to click on PDF, save as PDF, this is my Voyages contact sheet Cecil and save. Now one thing that it, this does, if I go and find that image, I can see that it's 47.8 megabytes, which is ginormous. So I'm going to open that in preview and you got to do a little bit of conversion, which is a little annoying, but um, because essentially what it's done is is printing or it's creating this PDF out of all of these images at their original size. And so 23 images at their original size is a very large file. So because I can't generate a JPEG from that contact sheet or, or from Apple Photos, I'm going to export this as an image. So I'm going to go to Format, JPEG, again, put that on my desktop best quality and I can choose the resolution down here I'm gonna leave it at 300 and just see how big a file it is that way if I do want to print that it will still print well so I'm gonna jump back to my desktop and this is the JPEG so now it's only five megabytes but it's still big enough that I can you know look at images clearly. All right, and then I'm going to get rid of that PDF that's giant that I don't need so I don't get confused. So that's one way to do it. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, run around to get the right file and the right size, um, but that's one way. The other way is in preview. Again, if you're on a Mac. So here are these photographs right here. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to open them all. And it should open them all in one window. Every once in a while, Preview might open, you know, some in one window and like three photographs in another. If for some reason it does that, so like let's say I just open this one file separately, I can always view thumbnails and then click on that and just drag it over here and add it to this. get rid of that one. No, well it won't. Um, okay. There we go. All right. So in this case, I'm going to also go to File Print. And I'm going to select that color printer that I have. And I'm going to go to Layout. And I can see I've got 23 images here. Um, and so I'm going to go to 16 per page. And that will generate two pages. 
you could also say, all right, I'm going to only do, well, yeah, nine won't work. That'd create three pages. <laughs> all right. And then same thing. I'm going to go to PDF, save as PDF. Now, this won't have the file name underneath of it. Um, voyages, context sheets, Cecil. And I'm just going to add preview just so I can know which one is which for my demo. And that will create one. And then we'll check that file size as well. So you can see also, it's the same thing, 37 and a half megabytes. So I'm going to go through that same process. The only downside of this, which is a little bit more cumbersome, is now that since there's two pages, um, I have to export each separately as a JPEG. So I'm going to go to export. And even if you don't use Apple Photos, you can import into Apple Photos and just select those and print them, and then you can delete them from it. <clears throat> um, it's just a kind of pass through for your images to be able to get that context sheet. So again, I'm going to file, export, and this is going to be JPEG, best quality, and I'm just going to put one, so I know that's page one, save that, and then I'm going to go to page two, export, page two, JPEG, best. And then, so these are my files. Those are those two. And you can see three megabytes and 5.8 megabytes. So both of those are options. Um, you know, Apple, Pre Apple Photos gives you a little bit more flexibility. And in the end, I think it's a little bit faster. Um, both require that you have a Mac. Um, as well as having a color printer at some point added to your computer. I guess you could always go add one, um, even if you didn't have one, um, so that way it can generate that color uh, preview and, and color contact sheet.